the trip has been very good. Um, I did my time. I did my 28 months in the penitentiary. And, and I got out October the 15th, 1986. And, and I was scared. You know, if, if you leave a clinic or an institution, you know, I, I, I was afraid. I, I just didn't know if I was going to make it. And you know, it was a healthy kind of fear. And so finally, I get out, I'm on parole, I get through that, and then I move back to my hometown. You know, you can go home. I decided that I was not employable. I actually told one man one time, I said, hey man, if you hire me, I'm going to take your company. So I work without a net. I haven't had a job in 20 years. I decided that I was smart enough and talented enough and I would do the right thing. When no one was looking, I would develop trust in friends and investors and that I would do this. I would talk about Thomas Henderson. I would degrade the self-deprecation of talking about me and my disease and my failures, but more importantly, my successes in recovery. See, all I am is a recovering drug addict. I'm so proud that I know that I'm a dope fiend. I am so proud to tell anybody, you know, I've been to the White House. You know, y'all see people move their ass away from me. <laughs> You know, well, so, so, you know, tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a recovering crack addict. How are you? <laughs> All righty then. <laughs> but that's who I am, isn't it? That's the intimacy of being a recovering drug addict. That I get to tell that story everywhere I go. I'm, I'm a recovering drug addict everywhere I go. There's nowhere I go that that's not who I am. I moved back home. I was doing very well in real estate and I sold some stock and had a pile of money and went back home. So my mother lived on the east side of town. I moved to the west side of town and just didn't know what I was going to do in Texas. I was speaking all over the country, but all I know I needed was an airport. And I needed some 12-step meetings to go to. And they're everywhere in the world. They're in Russia. They're in Poland. They're everywhere. So I go home and close to mama. You know, ain't nothing like having your mama. By the way, my mama's clean, too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> ain't nothing like having your mama call you and say, hey, boy, what you doing? Oh, I'm just waking up, mama. I just pulled some biscuits out of the oven. You want some? <laughs> I love that. 